So, I'm sure that you guys have already seen this. I just woke up uh, at 7 something, so I knew that we were going to get announced to Parasol Summon soon. And I could not be happier with the results. Actually, that's not true. I could be a little happier. But, uh, Nell's back. <laughs> and, that, and that's all that matters for me. So, yeah, we get another Nell. We get Noitora, which I'm sure a lot of people are happy about that. And we get Zyloporo, and I know quite a few people who are very happy about that as well. So, this is exciting because I'm going to take a look at their stats here in a bit as well. But you guys remember there are only four other Parasol characters, and they're all good. So there are only four other characters, so your chances of getting these new ones are actually pretty good. Uh, Noitora, the Red Bullet. Pff, don't tell me we're getting another Red Noitora. Zyloporo, the Dancing Nightmare, and Aliel, the Blooming Flower. I haven't seen anything about these characters other than the fact that Nell is green. That's all I know. Um, see the Japanese process on the schedule? Okay, so... Looks like this is all, these are the different gotchas that we're getting. Uh, this is actually a pretty good one. You get a nice uh, 20 DR and Noitora, who is still actually pretty good. This one kind of sucks because Yami. <laughs> but you do get uh, Rose, and Rose is pretty fun to use. And he has Frenzy. Uh, and then this this one, you get Uryu, still usable. Excuse me, still usable, boosted uh, boosted Nad Link. And then Tetsu Zayamon also has a boosted Link, but he's not as good. Um, still, we're going to take a look at just the main event here let's see like i said there are only four other fillers and they're still good like their the stats are pretty good they're still good characters um in fact i have a rewind coming out on them uh but let's see noitar red bullet noitar has a ranged strong attack specialist with his hollow killer ability Ooh, interesting uh all his attacks have a chance of inflicting burn okay which makes all the bit more effective when frenzy all right and two second debilitate oh, sweet okay so frenzy and debilitating burn on everything which is really really nice um, let's see here his third strong attack is a charge move oh dang a charge move with a nice <laughs> charge move with burn uh, is a charge attack and makes him very good with crowd control you can also unlock weakened defense and his special moves more deadly okay so that's good um, weakened defense would actually make his special really good meaning he's probably gonna be good in guild quests uh, with charge move also makes him good in guild quest. We'll have to see the range on his strong attacks. He doesn't have a full screen strong attack on his on his charge attack uh, because charge attacks are typically not full screen, but they're very very close. But still would make him good because that would mean he'd be able to nuke him every 12 seconds or so, depending on the ability. Uh, Xyloporo the Dancing Nightmare. Xyloporo is a melee attack character with a Ronkar Killer ability. All of, his strong, all of his attacks have a chance of inflicting poison. Okay, I saw that coming. He can also unlock Frenzy and a 2 second debil, which gives him an advantage against enemies with a high uh, stamina. He's also the first character to be able to unlock poison immunity skill. Of course he is. Uh, making him perfect character to take on quest. That's actually true. If this guy has... Hmm, let's be a little better for his range. But if he's melee, uh, he's actually good at taking at guild quest, taking at, uh, at stuff like uh, Inheritance Zone and... Uh, uh, extreme co-op because of those poison areas he will be immune to those which is nice uh, I'd be better if he was a net character I feel like net characters are better for autoing that um, but for just a straight up you know PvP is gonna be great especially with that poison Nelly all the blooming flower Nelly is a normal attack melee character with a hollow killer ability all of her attacks have a chance of inflicting paralysis oh that's actually really good Extended 5 seconds with D-Bill, and her second strong attack is Vortex, and she's got an okay, she's a Nat character, she's actually the best built Nat character that we're gonna have probably, her range is probably gonna be crazy because those parasites are insane, uh, she's got a boosted Nat, which is awesome, her strong attack, she's got a Vortex move, which is also great, uh, not gonna be good at PvP because of that Vortex move though, but, she does have a uh, debilitating paralysis on everything, so there's a chance that she will, depending on how that range on that Vortex is, we might get a, a lot of stuns still, it's really, really good. Um, yeah, it's really, it's gonna be really good. Uh, I think the best one out of the three is Noitora, but it's personal opinion, we have yet to see their strong attacks. Uh, let's see here. Noitora is purple. Okay, so not another red. Decent attack, really good attack. Decent defense. I'm surprised it's actually not higher, considering he has the highest defense in the game every other time. Um, high, really high SP. Burn, Sultry, Strong Attack, Recharge. That's really good considering he has burn on everything and his Strong Attack 3 is a, is a burn uh, charge attack. So that's actually really good. This character might be the best one out of three. Uh, let's see here. Another 737. They really like making their SP 737, which means he is a... 
Let's see here, strong attack damage. Yep, that makes sense. Typically, strong attack recharges have a higher SP recently because uh, to kind of make up for the whole strong attack damage thing. But he's got a high attack, I think a little bit higher than Noitora's. Defense is okay. Uh, Bruiser, Devastation, Frenzy, Debil, Poison Immunity. He's got a, a big set of moves. He's, he's actually really good. Um, Nell. Alright. What, what is he? Is he a uh, thingy? There you go. It's okay. He's a mind character. All right. And then we're going with Nell. Really high attack. One of the highest in the game, obviously. They're not going to not do that. Uh, good uh, defense. Decent SP for an uh, attack character. Uh, paralysis. Boost Natalink. Berserker at 40. Okay. This is going to be a fun thing to use a, a strong attack build on. Um, if I get her. Please get her. Uh, long reach. Bruiser. 50%. Sweet, he's in the same level as uh, Ishin when it comes to damage because of that 50% and boosted Natlink. I think only one other character other than Ishin has it. Um, let's see here. Dang, it's really good. No, how can they? How could they? This sucks. <laughs> okay, remember when I said that it's gonna be uh, the only? There's only four other characters in this in this pool. I was wrong. <laughs> I was very wrong. I thought it was going to be the other uh, four parasol characters, Shunsui, Nanao, um, the other guys, <laughs> Shunsui, Nanao, uh, Jushiro, and Grimjow, because that makes sense, and they did it with uh, Valentine's Day, but this is going to suck, because that's not the case in this time. We have six other characters, however, they're all really good characters. Uh, I have three of these, and I don't have the other, so I, I'm still gonna pull on this, and I'm probably gonna go all in. I have a decent amount of orbs, so it's gonna be fun. Um, dang, that's really gonna be rough. Uh, honestly, the worst one here is uh, Yichigo. He might be the one of the most fun, but he is the worst one on this list. Everybody else is better. Um, especially that tag team Ichigo. I already have him, but he's really good when it comes to droplet zones because of that double killer. Um, hmm. Dang. That's disappointing. <laughs> Still, the characters are really good, and I cannot wait to summon on them. When do they come out? Let me see. Uh, 31st, so that makes sense. So, oof, I'm not going to stay up for that one, but I will be summoning on this one. So, Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you're going to do. I'm actually really relieved that none of them are speed characters because that would actually put a... Uh, it would be a real problem with the poll I have going on right now, but that just means that next one's going to have to be speed, uh, tech or something. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.